YouTube Channel Nos Confunden. Chapter 1 Helen, the woman born in the lands behind the ice walls. 9.15 a.m. marked the clock in this suffocating and sad grey room. My eyes barely opened and they somehow tried to give me an overview of where I really was. I must admit that every day I find it more difficult to adapt to this world. My mind takes minutes to realize that I am back in the walled lands where my ancestors walked. Nos confunden. I found a rolled up newspaper on the door that said June 22nd. That's how they count the days here, each one faithful to their so pigeonholed grid where it seems that nothing can get out of the script, that mundane script that they created for the forced partners of this abyss, dark and sinister. A humanity that seems to bleed day by day without realizing that it collides every day against the crude reality that they let long ago all this become something immovable. Nos confunden. This cannot be called life, I thought to myself, every time I visit the lands where my father was born, my grandparents, my ancestors, those who left their lives to see a free humanity, and I find this, it hurts my heart to imagine the bones of my brothers who must still be buried here in these lands, who left their lives so that everything would be different. Curious way of living, I thought, while turning on and off a small lamp next to an old bed. Here, without a doubt, there is a strange way of creating a false need for objects. This humanity seems to be paying for the sin of its past having tried to be free. I understand that, although it is very unfair, and it is a thorn in the side of all of us who come from the other side, the free side behind the ice walls. Pay for a place where they were born. This phrase went round and round in my head. That's why I knew well the faces of those adventurers who managed to find the other lands, lands of the giants, Nos or the lands where I was born so many miles away from here. But a very high price had to be paid. That's why I come back. That's why my father died leaving his legacy. We never forget the new humanity that was born in these lands deprived of their freedom and their true history. Maybe it is time to start opening those walls of fear, as I like to call them, that terrify us for a past where a war was lost, but freedom was won, that the dead have not been in vain or forgotten as the custodians want. They buried a large part of human history and manipulated it. Nos and worst of all is that they convinced them. And now many defend this history and the land they inhabit. This world is a very difficult place to survive. In addition to a high toxicity in what you breathe, eat, drink, there are also enough dangers that make it an unfriendly place and for those who manage to escape with little desire to return. But as I always say, in my heart I have these lands so rooted. When I step on this ground, I reconnect with my past, with my dear father, William Morris, who swore to defend and rescue this new humanity from the parasitic hands of the custodians. Nos confunden. Also, the amount of wars that were lived throughout the years and are still being lived is really detestable. How they manipulate even in such a basic way as putting different colors in imaginary limits. Or beliefs of all kinds to divide. With that you can only generate that millions of people lose their lives, even many voluntarily thinking they do it in a just cause. The only just cause is freedom and that freedom can only be achieved by tearing down the curtains around these lands. Lifting the veil comes at a high price, but it is always worth knowing the truth, even if this is the last thing I can write. How many innocent people have given their lives for this cause? Who does not want to know the true story of our past? In this book, I will try to bring clarity as much as possible on the subject of the known lands and the other worlds behind the walls Nos of ice. Confunden.
I will also try to leave detail of everything we know about the civilizations of each of these, also called, and a brief history of which we got to know, thanks to the book of Shiki, the giant human, who gave my father the knowledge that nobody knows in this new humanity due to the great existing manipulation and the strong conditioning that they exploit from children. The important thing is that only one person I have met who was really interested in listening to my story, even though I had not revealed my real name or where I had come from. We had been studying this new humanity for a long time. We would not trust this long investigation and information if we did not know that it will be delivered with all the respect and in the way we believe is appropriate. Nos confunden. Besides that it takes urgency, we are not here to scare anyone, nor give dates of cataclysms or resets or restarts. But we are aware and understand that the situation of recent years is increasingly delicate. We understand that this process can be accelerated, and we are aware of the causes and resulting effects. In case I did not introduce myself yet, my name is Helen Morris, daughter of the navigator William, and born in lands that surely you do not know, almost 8,000 kilometers behind the walls of ice in the direction you know as south. YouTube channel Nos Confunden Before I take you on the path of the Terra Infinita and its history, you must understand that much of these texts will not go in line with what you have learned in this circle environment. I will also explain where this term comes from. Much of the history told here is possible for you to keep to yourself and that this book can open up this cause. Nos confunden. Much of the story still lives with you because you were also part of it in some way, only that you have been put to sleep, completely anesthetized, to such an extent that living this life seems normal, a life that one seems to base merely on robotic, repetitive actions. Very few are based on love and empathy. The division is every day easier and for any reason. And the big media take advantage of any of these weaknesses that have been exploiting for a long time. It is important that you can contrast this information. You should not believe anything about us, but you should question everything. What you have learned so far and what they will want to make you learn by force. Always try to surround yourself with people who not only deliver a message of empathy and love, but who really carry it forward and do not generate any division. So do not be surprised if any of this sounds familiar. Embrace the ideas that you like the most. Embrace them tightly. And always trust what you feel, what comes from your heart. Your mind will try to manipulate and confuse you. YouTube channel Nos Confunden My father left these lands in times of war, and when I returned, I found it almost in the same situation. As you will see, the security that one seeks in times of war is the same that generates them. In other words, there is no such security from any country, or government, or political party, or any leader of any kind. It is only you humans against those who pull the strings from the dark today, called custodians, the watchers, caretakers, the corrupt brotherhood, the tree protectors, kuijas, the energy absorbers, and I think I have heard many other terms, but we will stick with the first of them. Although I usually call them the parasitic race, it fits them perfectly. Nos confunden. They are here since almost the beginning of humanity, and whether we like it or not, they manage and have control of these lands today. Can anything be done against this? The answer is simple. Yes. But for that, we have to go into many points and find many of their weaknesses, as well as strengths. Knowing the enemy is the best way to get to break free from their control and or end up defeating them. YouTube channel Nos Confunden